This video is sponsored by NVIDIA in partnership with MSI. All right, so in this video, we're going to revisit all the cool benefits of the NVIDIA Ray Tracing, DLSS, and Reflex for both image quality and competitive edge. And we're going to do all that using the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 powered MSI Pulse GL66 gaming laptop. So this is more like me sharing my experience with you, trying out these NVIDIA technologies yet again, and remind you that you can take advantage of these technologies if you own or if you're planning on upgrading to an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 30 series powered gaming laptop this coming holiday. So with that being said, let's get into it. Okay, so in this video, we're gonna do the usual RTX on and off comparisons in different games. Check out the benefits of DLSS in terms of performance in relation to image quality and discuss a little bit about Reflex, which ultimately, in a good balance of these settings, should provide you with an overall good gaming experience. But first, let's start with an unboxing experience and check out the MSI Pulse GL66 gaming laptop. As you can tell, the packaging is relatively simple and inside the box, we have another small accessory box and the MSI Pulse GL66 gaming laptop itself. The accessory box houses the power cable and the 180 watts power brick. At first look and touch, the MSI Pulse GL66 embodies the typical gaming laptop aesthetic but not entirely over the top I would say. This was designed by the way by Martin Varhoven which contributed to many productions such as the Avengers, the Hobbit, the Walking Dead series, and so on. On the surface, we have a titanium gray colorway with armor line contour partnered with the new MSI Dragon logo. So here's how it looks on the front side. And flipping it on the left side, we have the power port, excess ventilation, a USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type-A port, and a USB 2.0 Type-A port. On the other side, we have an Ethernet port, an HDMI port, a USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type-C and Type-A ports, a 3.5mm audio combo port, and a small LED indicator. Looking at the back side, we have excess ventilation on both sides. And turning it all over at the bottom, we have a very interesting dragon scale-like design for the intake ventilation. And inside the chassis, we have the Cooler Boost 5 technology that features 6 heat pipes and 2 highly efficient fans. Aside from that, we also have a substantial amount of rubber feet here to keep this thing stay in place. And we also have 2 speakers, one on each side. Overall, input and output ports wise, we pretty much have all the bare essentials that we need without having to use any dongle. Cracking the lid open, we have a very nice illuminated keyboard with bouncy tactile feedback and a layout that fully takes advantage of the available space with a numpad, dedicated arrow keys, and a rather large left control key specifically made for gaming. The trackpad is kinda small for my liking, but let's be honest, if we're gonna game on this laptop, most often than not, we're gonna use an external mouse, so yeah. Other than that, we don't have anything else here, even the power button is integrated with the keyboard. In terms of the display, for starters, the bezels are relatively thin on both sides, with thicker bezels on top and on the chin. We also have a usable HD webcam here on top, alongside the microphone array. As for the quality of the display itself, we have a 15.6 inches Quad HD IPS level panel with up to 165Hz and as per my testing, it covers 100% sRGB, 86% NTSC, 88% Adobe RGB, and 99% P3 color gamut, which is pretty good for a gaming laptop. Now, before we move on to our actual testings and comparisons, let me break down real quick the specifications of this gaming laptop. So other than what I've already mentioned, the MSI Pulse GL66, at least for the variant that I have here, features an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070, an 11th gen Intel Core i7-1180H, with 16GB of RAM and 1TB of fast NVMe SSD. This also supports Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.1, but enough of that, I'm eager to show you the results of my not-so-scientific comparisons, so let's get into it. Now, most of you probably already know about RTX or the ray tracing technology from NVIDIA, which essentially takes visual fidelity in terms of gaming on an entirely new level, and it has been out for a while now. But still, I think it's cool to see it in action in a dedicated manner, outside the regular gaming grind. So let's start with the typical RTX on and off comparison. Starting with a very interesting and fun game I would say, Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. So here's how the game looks when ray tracing is turned off, and you can also pay some attention to the frame rate so that you can have a bit of an idea of how it affects the performance. Take note that DLSS is also turned off for these particular comparisons. We'll discuss about DLSS later. 
So our frame rate right now is around 56 to 57 FPS. Now let's set the ray trace transparent and overall reflections to on and bolts to the walls ultra settings. And boom! I don't know if you already noticed it but we now have some details inside the spaceship but our frame rate dipped down to around 35 FPS. Now let me turn the RTX off again for good measure. There you go. As you can see, the details inside the spaceship is crushed by the shadows. Again, RTX on. And finally, a side-by-side -side comparison. Obviously, visual quality wise, there is a very significant improvement but the expense of performance especially when it comes to our frame rate. And that's where the DLSS feature comes in to aid RTX and makes everything fairly balanced. Now, DLSS means Deep Learning Super Sampling, an NVIDIA RTX technology that takes advantage of AI to improve performance while maintaining good image quality at higher resolution and graphic settings. There are a ton of different technical explanations about DLSS which I'll put some links below. But in a nutshell, it allows you to enjoy both worlds when it comes to image quality and performance. Let me show you. Setting up DLSS in Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy is quite simple. From the game launcher, click Options. Then below, we have all the available settings that you can choose from depending on your preference and your system's capability. Let me show you the difference one by one. Starting with DLSS quality, and as you can see, we still have ray tracing turned on. And if you noticed, our frame rate jumped back from the 30s to now 50 plus FPS. And if we move around and play a little bit, our frame rate is still around the mid 40s. Again, this is with DLSS quality setting. Now with DLSS balance settings, our FPS is now fairly playable at around 60 FPS. And if we move around, we're still getting around 50 plus FPS. And last but not the least, we have DLSS Ultra Performance. This is what you should choose if you want to prioritize performance over visual quality while still taking advantage of the ray tracing technology. By the way, all the settings are done in 1440p resolution unless otherwise stated. As you can see with DLSS Ultra Performance, our FPS jumped up to around 66 FPS and while moving and playing around, we're still getting almost 60 FPS which is playable in my opinion especially for a casual game like this. Now, you might be wondering how these settings affects image quality. Well, let's take a closer look. Let me know if you can tell any significant difference, but if I really have to pixel peep, obviously the DLSS off has more contrast and sharpness, while the rest of the DLSS options are pretty neck and neck, and honestly, I don't think you will even notice the difference while you're gaming. Of course, this is just a screenshot, so here's a moving side-by-side -side comparison for good measure. Overall, I think the LSS balance is the way to go to be able to play at a decent 50 to 60 FPS with ray tracing here in Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. Moving on, let's check out RTX and DLSS in Bright Memory Infinite game, which is a quite enjoyable fast-paced game but is relatively short in terms of the story. In fact, I was able to finish the entire game during the duration of my testing looking for a good environment or scene to test the RTX on and off feature. Now, let's start with the settings first and all our testings here will be in highest ray tracing settings but in different DLSS options. Let's start with the basic RTX on and off comparison. As you can see with RTX on but DLSS off, our frame rate is just around the mid 20s so the gaming experience is safe to say less than ideal. Turning off RTX, our frame rate immediately went back up to the 60s but as you can tell, there was a significant difference in terms of the image quality specifically with the reflections. So let me just turn on RTX real quick. There you go. It is now more realistic than before. Now let's take advantage of the LSS so we can gain some FPS back and play with both good image quality and decent performance. So with the LSS quality, our frame rate is now around the mid 40s, which doubled what we have when the LSS was turned off. So as you can see, the LSS really makes a ton of difference when it comes to performance. Switching to the LSS balance, we're now getting 50 plus FPS which is decent enough while still getting the benefits of the image quality ray tracing has to offer. And lastly, changing to the LSS Ultra Performance, our FPS is now pretty good at almost around 80 FPS. Now, when it comes to image quality, here's a quick side-by-side -side snapshot comparison. And in this one, we can easily tell that there is a noticeable reduction in detail on the Ultra Performance setting, especially when compared to the LSS Off. Otherwise, both equality and balance settings are pretty decent. And here's a moving side-by-side -side comparison, again, for good measure. Now, aside from ray tracing and DLSS, there's one more NVIDIA technology that is quite useful when it comes to competitive gaming, and that is the NVIDIA Reflex. 
Like with DLSS and ray tracing, there are a ton of available deep dive explanations on how it works, which again, I'll put some links below. But in a nutshell, NVIDIA Reflex reduces input latency, also known as system latency, by making the communication between the CPU and GPU more efficient or in sync, eliminating the so-called render queue, giving you almost real-time feedback to your reactions. Unfortunately, in able to show you exactly how it works, we need some proper tools like the NVIDIA Reflex Latency Analyzer and other perfect environments and scenarios, which to be honest, I don't have right now. But yeah, NVIDIA Reflex is probably one of the best modern technologies when it comes to competitive edge that some of us are not yet aware of. Now, in Valorant, we have both the regular NVIDIA Reflex On and the On Plus Boost, which essentially allows your GPU to run at its full potential, eliminating any possible bottleneck that might cause some performance issue with NVIDIA Reflex. Input lag is something you would want to reduce especially when it comes to competitive FPS games like Rainbow Six Siege where peaking and sudden reactions are very vital and can potentially decide the entire match, so getting all the available advantages is a must. And there you have it guys, to be honest, I really enjoyed making this video. Um, since it has been a while since I last made a comparison video like this. And it's definitely an interesting experience to revisit NVIDIA's ray tracing and DLSS um, technologies yet again, since I don't really use these technologies since I'm just playing Valorant most of the time. But making this video uh, makes me want to explore more games that supports this uh, feature, especially now that more games are now supported with ray tracing and DLSS. So definitely, I'm going to check out more games. Huge thanks to NVIDIA and MSI for sponsoring this video and I hope you guys get a thing or two and probably pick your interest to try out these NVIDIA technologies if you own an NVIDIA GeForce RTX powered laptop or PC and if not, I guess this holiday season is the perfect opportunity to grab one. So if you're interested to get the MSI Pulse GI66 gaming laptop, check the link below. Thank you for watching, subscribe if you like this and see you next time. Have a great day guys, you're awesome.